Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm Catlin and this is the news. Uh, the Ferguson police chief this week issued an apology to Michael Brown's family, apologizing for how his officers and the police department handled their son's death. Uh, you're a little late. Oh, a little bit, a little late. And um, I'm gonna step into uh, Representative Peter King's shoes for a minute and talk about fashion. Um, Chief, if you're going to put on a shirt and tie for CNN, then maybe you shouldn't wear that ratchety red Costco polo to apologize to the dead boy's parents. Just saying. Little too late, little too casual. Governor Chris Christie slammed something that wasn't a cheeseburger this week. He was bashing the current administration's policies on ISIL. Now this week, some of the biggest airstrikes so far have taken place, especially after many more nations have joined in our fight against this terrorist organization. Now, a few people have been bringing up that were we to ally with Iran, uh, it may give us a little bit of an advantage. Unfortunately, that alliance is kind of like banging your roommate on Valentine's Day. Feels like a good idea, seems like it could eliminate a few uh, current issues, but that's a hangover that no amount of Pedialyte can fix. Nope. That's not a good one. Not a good idea. A new study published in the Journal of Physiology says that having a glass of red wine is the equivalent to exercising for an hour. I'm going to have leg day all night long. Ah, squats. Ebola has officially reached the United States. A man in Texas is showing symptoms. Uh, and really, if you've ever been through security at DFW Airport, that's not so much so surprising. Um, while, yes, this is really disturbing news, I don't think we need to be quite as worried. Um, Aside from the fact that we have readily available medical supplies, one of the biggest issues has been, as it was stated by Chelsea Clinton in a CNN interview this week, it's been the distribution of medical supplies throughout Liberia and Sierra Leone. They're having a really hard time getting into the more remote and isolated areas, and that's been one of the biggest delays in combating this highly contagious disease. I mean, Let's be careful, but I don't really think we're going to have that same problem in Texas. If you said that to anybody that I know from Texas, they'd be like, well, bless your heart, honey. I'll just drive over the Escalade and you can load it right up. Right? Let's just take care of this and get back to our tape. Um, yeah. Please wash your hands. Nobody wants Ebola. Let's just help everybody else and stay healthy, please. An Oklahoma man is facing the death penalty this week after he beheaded a co-worker. Are you kidding? He... I know things come back in style, guys, but this is... Are we glorifying Henry VIII in schools? What is this? Speaking of those adorable tea-drinking colonizers, the former English territory of Hong Kong is in heavy protest mode this week as they are petitioning for democracy. Uh, the Chinese government is still figuring it out. Um, you may remember that they were given back to China uh, from England in like, what, 1999? Um, did anybody else think that this would happen a lot sooner? No? Just me? Okay. The world's most powerful grandchild came into the world this week as Chelsea Clinton and her husband Mark welcomed their firstborn child, their new daughter Charlotte. Can you imagine those grandma and grandpa play dates? It's like saving the world in cookie time with Nana, followed by economic policy and stain removal with Papa. We have yet another disturbing example of, um, I guess there's no other word for it other than police brutality this week. A uh, South Carolina trooper's dash cam caught the entire very disturbing event uh, where he shot someone for 
getting out of his car at a gas station to, I don't know, go by a big gulp. Um, it was ridiculous if you've seen the video. Guys, it's innocent until proven guilty, not if you twitch, I shoot. Like, I think it's clear. Being a cop should be like going in for jury duty. If you can't prove that you can remain unbiased, you go home. You go home. You gotta kind of maintain a cool, calm sense of unbiasedness. Please. Authorities are now concerned that the man suspected of kidnapping University of Virginia student Heather Graham might be a serial killer. Oh joy. We got a lot, you know, we got a lot of time on our hands. We'll just figure it out. Can we stop, people? Does everybody need to collectively watch a Disney movie or like sing Kumbaya? Can we just calm down, please? Olympian Michael Phelps has been arrested this week on his second DUI. Mikey Pooh, when you go shot for shot with your golds, just call a freaking Uber. I'll pick up your tab. If you're that drunk, you call me. I'll give you my number. I don't mind. You call me and I will pick up the tab for your Uber. Drunk driving is not cool, especially when you have the money to afford transportation home. Hearts broke all over the world as longtime bachelor and legendary hottie George Clooney tied the knot with his fiance, Amal Alamut. Can I, I'm just going to call her Amal. Her last name's really hard. But she is a classy, smart lady. But they got married this week in Venice. Uh, the star-studded nuptials did boast a pretty hefty price tag. And, I mean, really, they were just pretty fucking classy all around. I mean, almost as classy as this guy. Thanks for watching with me. We're here every Wednesday. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can find out about all of our videos. And uh, I hope you have a great week. Get your workout on.